you're married and you have a child. And I'm just curious, so a lot of guys like me would think, okay, how did this guy land you? When you met this man, what is it that he said? What is it that he did? Do you know what I mean? Did he have a, was it a cool line? Was it the way he looked? I, I actually met him on a movie set. Mm -hmm. And um, it was Harvey Weinstein had asked me to uh, go do a movie, asked me to do a movie at a Golden Globe show, um, party. And basically mm -hmm. I thought that it was just like party talk and I agreed. Right. And Monday morning the script arrived and I realized I agreed to a movie that I had never read before. Right. <laughs> and so I flew down to do this movie and I walked into the set and I saw a sweatshirt and on the back of it it said, New York, I am your father. I was like, who? That, I, I, that's such a rad sweatshirt. I have to have that sweatshirt. And he turned around, and there was this hot, gorgeous man, and it was like a Darth Vader chest plate, and that was the director. And I was like, wait, who said this is a director? I, because he was so young and so gorgeous, and I was like, ah. and it, I don't believe it, in onset romances. I've never done that before, and I didn't. I was a good girl, but he just like took my breath away, and it was the sweatshirt. Okay, it was a sweatshirt. <laughs> it was a sweatshirt. I like how you threw in there that he's super hot and handsome. <laughs> I mean, if I had turned around wearing that same sweatshirt, you know, it's me. <laughs> Look, nothing's gonna happen. So don't act like it was the sweatshirt. It was the sweatshirt. It was the sweatshirt because you're that. It, because I was look, looked at the back and then the front, and then it was it took me like two minutes before I looked at his face. So it's obviously a you're, it, it's a big uh, Star Wars reference. Are you you're a, he's a, obviously a Star Wars fan. Yes, it was a, a, a film called Fanboys, which was about Star Wars fans, and uh, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan as well. So it was it was a match made in heaven. Now you two, when you had your your is it a son? Yes, your son. When you had your son, the baby shower is Star Wars themed. Yes. And this is the cake that you guys had <laughs> for. <laughs> Which is pretty intense. Like it that's really, taking it to a new level. We're next level. We're we're really next level. It's uh yeah yeah. To and it is your, your boy's name is James Knight. James Knight. Is that in any way a reference to Jedi Knight? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the defense rests. We almost. I do feel like this is a prosecution. And is he not named after Jedi Knight? <laughs> Than Arsenal, which we almost named him Arsenal after the the football. Um, our favorite soccer team is Arsenal. Right. And so we thought that would be shortened to Arsis, so that would you know we we went with the Star Wars. I think you did the right oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My son's name is Manchester United. Oh really? Oh, got it. Okay. He gets picked on all the time. Better than the Spurs. Uh, and Star Wars was a theme at your wedding as well. Not so. I wanted to keep it classy. I didn't want it to be like, you know, walking down to like any, you know, John Williams composition or anything like that. But we had like Yoda napkins and little things like that. Yoda napkins. Yeah, it's just little. But it's not like accents. the the man, accents. the person performing the ceremony didn't have like a Darth Vader helmet. No, and we didn't say. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that kind of. No, or, may the force be with you. Yeah, yeah. Always, or, or with take us him, always. do you? <laughs> <laughs> Husband, take him, do you? <laughs> Honor him, you will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>